Hi guys, it's me, Miss Manifesta, and on the channel today, we are gonna be talking about messages from spirit animals. This is when animals show up in your life unexpectedly. This can be via the TV, it can be on your timeline, it can be literally in person, you're out and you see this animal or you know, it just comes across you in a strange way. The universe speaks in symbolism. And I wanna give you guys some information on what some of the messages are that these spirit animals are bringing to you. Before we get started, make sure that you click the subscribe button and hit the bell to get regular updates from me when I upload Law of Attraction and spiritual content every week. And also you guys can subscribe to my email list via the link in the description below and that gives you access to my Law of Attraction library of resources. Let's get started. So today I'm also going to be using my, uh, what's it called? The Spirit Animal Oracle from Colette Baron reed uh, This is the first ever oracle that I got and I adore it. I absolutely adore it. I love the artwork and I really, really connect really well to this deck. Um, I get such good uh, messages for myself and others. I don't do uh, paid readings, guys, but uh, when I read for my friends, spot on. So I kind of wanted to use the deck with the animals in the deck to sort of, you know, show you and talk to you about some of the most common and most powerful messages from spirit animals. So the first animals I want to talk to you about all bring with them a slightly similar message, but all slightly different. And the first one we're going to talk about is the butterfly. And that is all about your transformation, your metamorphosis into something so beautiful and your growth and expansion and something i always remember is a caterpillar doesn't know what it's going to turn into but it trusts the process you know it just goes right i'm cocooning and i'm going to trust this process and let's see what's on the other side so this is all about you if you see butterflies transforming and evolving and expanding but just trust that process because you're gonna grow and expand into something so beautiful. The second uh, animal of transformation is the snake. And this is all about healing and shedding things that no longer serve you, whether that is potentially people, you know, that can be tough, but it can also just be about shedding beliefs, shedding bad habits, things that don't serve you, or shedding the past, you know, getting rid of that baggage and and that trauma and actually transforming and going into something really beautiful because, you know, the snake has the power to shed its skin and to grow a new one again. So it is very much about a time of powerful healing, of powerful transformation. Don't be afraid to shed your skin because you are going to come back so much stronger. So again, transformation, but of a different kind, more of a, a shedding kind in all the different ways that I just spoke about. The next critter that we have coming up is the crow spirit. And again, very much a messenger of transformation. This one is all about coming out of darkness and into light. You know, the crow is often a symbol of death. And some people kind of look at crows and ravens and go, oh, not, you know, not keen, but actually it's about understanding that you're going through a spiritual awakening, a, a rebirth of some kind. A part of you is dying and you're moving into this amazing transformation. And don't fear it. It can feel rocky, you know, it can feel tough. And often when this comes up, when you see the crow, it's reminding you, don't worry, you're being divinely supported. The crow is very magical as a spirit animal and you are being given that divine support and guidance and reassurance that you're going to come out the other side of this you know death can feel like you're being like beat down and stripped down but you're going to be reborn like a phoenix the next spirit animal i want to talk to you about is the frog and guys i have actually tried to pick animals that have shown up in my life ones that i feel are quite common and often visit a lot of people you know so the frog is very much about clearing out the clutter now this can be physical clutter emotional clutter um 
it can literally be about people, people leaving your life. It can also be about, you know, saying, clear out your stuff. Because when we kind of make energetic space and physical space in our life, it allows for new things to come into our lives. Now, I'm not saying that you're gonna clear out your house and then a whole load of new stuff is gonna come in and fill that space. But I love decluttering. And guys, you can do this on um, other levels too. Like you can say, I'm gonna declutter my phone. You know, I'm gonna clear out my contacts or you could delete, you know, people on Facebook that you're not talking to. It's no offense to them, but you know, have a clear out of lots of things. Clear out your photos on your phone. Clear out your email inbox. Like make space to usher in new things. It's about allowing stuff to come in to your life. And that's what the frog is all about. So if the frog visits you, it's time to do a little bit of spring cleaning, whether that is physically, on your phone, or potentially is there relationships in your life that have run their natural course. It's not about being savage and going, I'm cutting you off, you know, like you're dead to me. It's But it's sometimes accepting that, you know, everything is temporary and not all friendships last forever. Not all, you know, jobs are necessarily forever. And has something run its course and is it time for something new something fresh next up is the peacock and i think we all agree peacocks and their feathers are absolutely stunning and that's what this spirit animal is reminding you of you are absolutely beautiful you are absolutely gorgeous and you should be owning that like and we're talking outside inside the works, you are amazing. And if this bird shows up in your life, it's reminding you to be proud of yourself. Don't be afraid to shine your light. Don't be afraid to kind of be like, mm, I'm fabulous, I'm amazing. You don't have to be, you know, um, arrogant about it, but you're special. Like, and you're okay to step into that limelight. You're okay to kind of, you know, show off a little bit, you know, and be, proud of who you are and what you've achieved and you know in doing that you can inspire other people don't be a shrinking violet you know show who you are be confident and step into your power and also with the peacock guys peacocks are loud and i believe that honestly they're a messenger of saying don't be afraid to speak your truth too you know because that's very important we you know don't need to be full of ego and we don't need to come across um, as confrontational or passive aggressive, but don't be afraid to speak your mind, to speak your voice in a mindful, compassionate way, but that honors your feelings and your boundaries and your needs as well. Next up are two, like the most opposite uh, creatures on the planet. You have the elephant and you have the ant. Now, both of these are extremely social creatures. Now, elephants are all about stepping into your power and also a sign that obstacles are gonna be cleared from your path because there is nothing, there is nothing that can stand in an elephant's way. And honestly, this is about coming into your power and also about communication, about community, family, you know, being connected with others. Um, it's very, very powerful. And if this comes into your life, you are definitely being reminded of your power that nothing can stand in your way when it comes to what you want to manifest. But also, elephants never forget, as they say in the Jungle Book. And it can also be about how can you learn? How can you grow from the past? Is there something from the past that you need to kind of change that spin on that story? You know, are you being a victim of your past? Or are you the conqueror? Are you the elephant? Are you embracing your power and saying, you know what, I overcame this. I overcame this obstacle. So again, being mindful of the stories that you are potentially telling about your past and using it in a positive way to charge yourself going forward rather than allowing it to hold you back. Mm, I love that charge, you know, when elephants charge. And similarly though, the ant also a very social creature, they build together. So this can be a signal to collaborate with people, to build with people, to kind of say, you know, how can I work with somebody? Perhaps there's gonna be somebody coming into your life soon that you can kind of collaborate with, that you can create something with, perhaps a partnership for building something exciting, a business. 
So if ant spirit comes into your life, there could be potentially something coming up your way that is gonna be an opportunity to do that and you should definitely jump on that opportunity. And it's being mindful of that, remembering that when you see the ant spirit. And this nicely brings me on to our next animal, which is Mr. Foxy Foxy. And I see foxes from time to time. Uh, they've woke me up in the middle of the night. I live in a residential area and this very much links in kind of what I just said about the ant, about looking for opportunities to collaborate. This is about opportunity. Opportunity being potentially presented to you very, very soon. And you're gonna have to think fast. You're gonna have to think on your feet and seize that moment. See it for what it is. It's about very sharp thinking, being very much like, okay, and go. So if something kind of is presented to you, it's about trusting your intuition and your gut and having that awareness and going, hang on, you know, I think I'm being presented with something here and I think I need to act on it. It may not linger, so kind of seize that moment whilst you've got the chance. That is the message of the fox spirit. Our next creepy critter up on the list, a lot of people are not gonna wanna come across one of these, but it's all good news if you see spider spirit. Now recently spiders have been following me everywhere. <laughs> like, and I mean it, like they're in my hair, they're out like on the walls outside, they're everywhere in the house. They were like those tiny little red ones on a door handle today. And I was like, oh my God, they're everywhere. And they're a good sign. Like they're a good sign that money is coming to you, but they're also a reminder of d divine feminine energy, creativity. So really encouraging you that you need to be tapping into your creativity. And when you do that, you are harnessing the power of the universe, the power of manifestation. Manifestation is all about creativity. So you're being really encouraged to create in whatever way works for you. We've all got different ways that we kind of have that creative energy. And it's also about patience. So once you've wove that web, once you've done that creation process, being patient, you know, the spider does all her work and then she goes and sits in the middle she has to wait it out for that fly to come. So, you know, it's about being patient and kind of honoring that you've put the work in yourself, but now it's time to let it go and then let the universe do its side of the bargain. Next up on the birdie list is owls and hawks. Uh, obviously owls are considered to be a type of bird of prey. Hawks are very much a reminder to stay alert because the universe is trying to send you symbolism in the form of synchronicities. And sometimes it can literally be seeing loads and loads of hawks, but it's reminding you that you need to be looking out for the synchronicities because that's how the universe is trying to speak to you through symbolism of animals, numbers, you know, like that is how it communicates with you and how it gets your attention. So it's very much saying have an awareness because the universe is working with you. The universe is by your side and it's time to pay attention to that. And then the owl, similarly, about clear sight, seeing things for how they are and kind of, you know, how like an owl, like I was going to do a full, you know, can't do the exorcist and like do a full 360, but like an owl can see things from all different angles. And it's about having that perspective and kind of, yeah, being able to see the bigger picture and to have that full clarity. You know, you can get full clarity on a situation. So if there's something that's been confusing you or you're not feeling too sure about, the clarity is gonna come soon. You're gonna get that answer soon. You're not gonna be feeling confused anymore. And the, you know, if there's a truth that needs to come out in the open that you need to know, it's, it's on its way. It's very much with these two about clear sight and being sharp and looking out for the signs, but also not to worry because if our spirit comes along, it's gonna be made clear to you soon. And finally guys, I was only gonna do 10, but I've done so many more. Um, and I could just like go on and on and on. There's like animals that aren't in that deck that I could talk about. Oh, never mind. Anyway, so finally, little bonuses for you. Rabbit and ladybug, because these two are both very much symbols of abundance, good luck. If these come into your life, 
happy days. I saw three ladybugs yesterday within an hour. Uh, my daughter found one, my friend found one, and then we went for a little drive, and then I found one, and I was like, oh yay! And I took a picture of all of them because it's just what I do. I love taking pictures that remind me um, that I'm, you know, getting the signs and guidance. So if ladybugs or rabbits come up, be really appreciative and be really grateful, and it's time to get excited and expect some abundance because honestly, it is coming your way. Some really good things are coming your way. There are so many amazing animals in the animal kingdom and I will probably do another video with more down the line because uh, oh, there's just so many that I you know, would love to talk about. But these are the ones that very much uh, speak to me um, or I know speak to other people and have very kind of like common themes of message that, you know, that they want to give people. So I kind of went with the ones that I know tend to come up very very regularly uh but yeah stay tuned because i'm sure at some point there will be another one and if there's a spirit animal you'd like to know more about or if there's one that you feel gives you messages please pop it in the comments below and i will see you guys soon for another law of attraction video take care bye